So do you think the Bob Lazar story is bullshit? Complete. Really? Complete bullshit. Um, and I hate to say it because I want it to be true, but everything that comes out of his mouth is so wrong. It's against science. Like we discovered element 115 already. It has none of the properties he claims. Mm. And I feel like, so I've talked to people I know, um, like Eric Davis, Hal Putoff that I trust, and they've got a, and I've talked to people like that who said they've got a hypothesis. They think that Bob Lazar's purpose is disinformation mm. to say stuff that's so wrong that any scientist with half a brain cell knows immediately it's nonsense. Any physicist can listen to Bob Lazar and be like, yeah, he's not a real physicist. He's talking nonsense. And so every like everything he says is so wrong on so many levels. I could spend three hours on just Bob Lazar and debunking everything he said. Like, don't get me wrong. I wish he was real. I wish it was true, but he, he doesn't even get basic nuclear physics right. And come on. He, he never went to MIT. They were they erase the memories of all the professors. Well, it makes no sense. There's a very reasonable yeah. explanation for that, for his records being erased. If he was Oh, a his records could be erased, but you can't erase the memory. The professor would be like, Oh yeah, I had Bob in my class. No, he wouldn't be in a public class. That's the point. If he was oh, if come he if he on. There, there's yeah. lots of evidence of people going to MIT to work on military shit and weapon systems sure. that were uh, under the sanction of the Pentagon and they, that were kept secret I know, and had and they, all the stuff expunged. But if they open their mouth, they talk correct physics. So for example, Eric Davis. He opens his mouth and correct physics comes out. Hal Putoff opens his mouth. Correct things come out of his mouth. Bob Lazar opens his what mouth. Specifically, and did he say? I mean, even if it was nonsense, he doesn't have to be like a, a, a PhD physicist to, yeah, be, yeah, yeah. to be useful to some, some oh, of yeah, those programs. Yeah. Oh yeah. So I think, I think there's a grain of truth in what Bob Lazar says, but I think he misheard some things. Sure. And he's saying some things wrong. Maybe. That's what I think is happening. But I, I you can't take everything he says is scientifically accurate because it doesn't work. I don't think that I don't yeah. think I don't think the idea is saying that he doesn't he says a lot of bullshit or says a lot of wrong things yeah. about physics. Yes. I don't think that's a, a a strong argument to him saying that his story's full of shit, you know? I, I think it's totally I'm saying plausible. there's a grain of truth in there. Right. Is what I'm saying. What I was saying was the Physics is full of shit that he says. There maybe. could be a grain of truth. No, not maybe for sure his physics is wrong. Even if it is, if it is, if yeah. what you're saying is correct, I think yeah. it's still totally plausible that some secret black program would want to get a guy like him in there to throw shit at the wall to see if maybe he can tinker around and figure something out that they haven't been able to figure out in 50 years. That's true. That's possible. But here's that but this is the problem. This is why we're not making progress. Sure, because it's all secret. It's all we compartmentalized. Don't, it's stovepipe. Exactly. Stovepipe come if we really want to make progress. We would hire people mm -hmm. like my friend Kevin. We'd hire smart, good scientists. We'd have Eric Davis. We'd have Hal Putoff, who were not really part of the legacy program. They're mm -hmm. on the outside. We would have smart people. We would have hundreds of people like the Manhattan Project. We're not making progress. If there is a crash retrieval reverse engineering program, we're not going to make progress because there's too much stovepiping. There's too much compartmentalization. Yeah, I agree with you. But I, honestly, look. One part of me thinks that if, if 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 Bob Lazar was totally on the up and up, he'd already be dead in the desert, like by quote unquote well, suicide. He with doxed two himself. Hits. He came out and and yeah. with that stuff with George Knapp in the early '90s, late '80s. That I mean, that that's what I think that's what he was doing. Probably pro trying to protect himself and get his stuff out there. And that's also, you know, his background is a very discreditable background. Like the stuff that he was doing, running the brothels and all the crazy stuff he was doing. And and uh, well, some of that could be made up to suppress him. Some conspiracy people think that. it doesn't like, have. To, yeah. I, I think yeah. it's. I think a lot of it's very well. The, yeah. You can look up the court documents yeah, from yeah. his divorce yeah. to show that he was actually running but these look, brothels. So, but yeah, but one fifteen exists already. We found it has none of the properties he claims. There's no stable isotopes of it. And he claims he has a little bit of it left that he's keeping at home. Good. Send some to me. I can prove it's 115 in, in uh, 20 seconds. Mm. That's not exaggeration, by the way. Mm -hmm. So like, the problem with this stuff is uh, you have people around him and around people like him yeah. that are just incentivized to uh, use him as a mascot to make money and to make documentaries yes, about right. him. That's right. Exactly. Look. And uh, and to just further their own careers. And that's my that's my thing about this whole topic yeah. is that it's just fucked from the beginning because yeah, yeah. you have the internet and you have people trying to make careers off of it. Yes. And yes, exactly. That muddies the waters even more. I don't want to make any money. Uh, you know what the only money I want to make off UFOs is? The only money I want to make is to turn into equipment for research mm. and a little bit of salary to survive. I don't want to become rich and famous. I just want enough to do my work with my friends like yeah. Kevin at UAlbany. But mm. your point is very, very well taken. And remember what I said earlier. It's like the Fox Mulder poster. 
right? What does Fox Mulder's poster say? The X Files. I want to believe, mm, right? Yeah. I want to believe Bob Lazar's story, but the holes on the holes in it are so gigantic to me. Actually, this is why I'm never going to be invited back to Phenomicon. I got I Phenomicon. Give, you know about Phenomicon, <laughs> no. right? No, it's in Utah. It's the like UFO Bigfoot. It's right next to Skinwalker uh, it's UFO Ranch. UFO Bigfoot convention. And it's like all about Skinwalker Ranch. As oh, well. that's amazing. Oh, I pit, we. Kevin and I pissed off the entire crowd because someone during Q and A asked about Bob Lazar in one fifteen, and then we went on and on how Bob Lazar was wrong. He's full of shit, and it's impossible, and blah blah blah. Oh, we ticked off everybody. Yeah. But here's the thing: I just I want to know the truth. I'm not going to believe some person who claims to be a whistleblower. That's why, for example, when Grush came out, I tested his claims. I wrote that paper earlier. Remember, mm. I said if Grush's claim of the crash crash rate is correct i was gonna see okay why don't we have evidence yet i crunched the statistics and i discovered oh grush's claims are plausible doesn't prove they're right but they're plausible mm. but right out of the gate all of those hearts claims are not plausible within yeah. physics and, science and engineering and i know people i've talked to people who are allegedly connected with the legacy pro, I have several people tell me, oh yeah, Bob Lazar is just disinformation hmm. agent to just say things that are so wrong so that physicists like me and Kevin, but other than us, you know, other physicists, they watch Bob Lazar and they not interested in jumping into UFO studies because sure. they're like, that's so dumb sure. and wrong that I'm not interested in participating. It's kind of like, if you take something, if you take anything, that's fringe, considered pseudoscience, and you crank something up to 11, you're going to scare off well-meaning people mm -hmm. who want to come in, and CIA is master at this, by mm. the way, and like you want to scare off. So I'm, I'm, I often worry that Lazar might be some sort, you know, people worry about the same thing about Lou Elizondo, it might be some sort of misinformation, disinformation campaign. Mm. The thing is you can't believe anyone or anything, and that's what's right. so scary and it makes yeah. it so hard. But look, I hope I'm wrong. I really hope Bob Lazar is telling the truth because to me, that means humanity has a future. Mm. Because if somebody else can figure out interstellar <laughs> travel, we can figure it out. Like That means there's a hopeful future. Mm. And so I want to be wrong about Bob, and I want, I'd be happy to sit down with him privately and be like, hey, I'm sorry I said you were foolish. Yeah, <laughs> podcast. Please prove to me I, yeah. I'm wrong. Show me the facts. Prove to me. Talk to me as a scientist, right? Yeah. He says he has a degree in science. Prove to me that I was wrong about you. And I'm open yeah. about it. I'm open-minded. But the thing is, I'm going to call a spade a spade. And when I see massive amounts of evidence, problematic evidence stacking up, that somebody is not telling the truth, I'm deeply concerned, mm. especially when it comes to this UFO, UF, UAP sphere yeah. of things. Right. But there were some podcasts I was watching where I think Commander Fravor said, if I'm not mistaken, it was like friends with Bob Lazar. They have like barbecues together. I'm like, I was starting to then like, war. I'm like, oh, Fravor was saying that he was doing this. Yeah, Lazar. yeah, yeah. I think he was on Lex Friedman's podcast or, oh, or really? another one. And I was like, he said, it seems like an interesting guy to be, be around. Yeah. So I'm like, oh. and so I was starting to feel bad. And I'm like, oh, maybe he's not full of shit. So, like I said, I hope I'm wrong. But I, the problem is, I know too much physics and what he says yeah. is just so wrong. I've gone back and forth yeah. on him. I believed him in yeah. the beginning and then I yeah. stopped believing him for a while. And yeah. then I'm back on the Bob Lazar train now. I think it's I'm possible. on the I'm on the Eric Davis train, okay. actually. <laughs>